Hello, my loving students. Today, I am going to teach you social study part 2 from chapter 3 changes in the transport system. Different means of transport. The different vehicles that we use to travel from one place to another are called means of transport. There are three means of transport. Land transport, water transport and air transport. We choose either of these means of transport on the basis of cost, availability of transport and the duration of time. So, dear children, the different vehicle that we use to travel from one place to another like train, aeroplane, car, okay, to move from one place to another are called means of transport. There are three means of transport, land transport, water transport and air transport. Land transport. The vehicles that move on road are called means of land transport. In villages, land transport mostly includes vehicles such as bullock carts, tongas and cycle rickshaw. These vehicles help us to travel short distance. For longer distance, people use cars, vans, buses and motorbikes. These vehicles are fast moving and are drawn by engines unlike bullock carts or cycle rickshaw that are drawn by animals or people. Some vehicles such as trucks, containers and tankers trucks are used to transport goods. So dear children, the vehicles that move on roads are called means of land transport. Like on road you have your car, you have truck, okay, buses, train. These are all land transport. For short distance we use a rickshaw, we use tongas, okay, different things for short, um, short distance. But for a longer distance, we use car, van, buses, motorbikes, etc. And to transport goods, we use truck, containers, tankers, you know, for oil or goods, things from to move from one place to another. When it is transported, we use truck, containers, tankers, all these things. Railways. Railways are the cheapest and fastest means of transport on land. They carry a large number of passengers and also transport goods from one place to another. Railways were introduced in our country by the British in 1853. As of 2018, India has the fourth largest railway network in the world. So children, uh, railways are the cheapest and fastest means of transport. Okay, so uh, like in the flights, aeroplane, there is a limited seat to travel. But the railways, the train, they carry a large number of passengers. So uh, most of the people like to travel by train because it is cheap. Okay. And railway were introduced in our country by the British. The British introduced railway to our country. And on 2018, India has the fourth largest railways network in the world. So, 2018 
India has the fourth mean that means in the world it is the fourth largest railway network okay India is the fourth largest railway network some cities like Kolkata New Delhi Jaipur Chennai and Bangalore have underground trains called the metro these are high speed trains that transport passengers through underground or elevated tracks these trains are a very efficient means of transport as they run at a very fast speed and are not affected by traffic jam so children in big cities like Kolkata, New Delhi, Jaipur, Chennai, ba Bangalore, you have, you know what, metro. Most of them must have traveled by metro. So these trains have a high speed. Okay, they move, they transport passenger to underground. So here there is no problem of traffic jam. They run at a very fast speed, okay, in a very fast speed they move and are not affected by traffic jam. No traffic jam, nothing because they run underground. My dear students, watch my explanation on chapter 3 and do the exercise given below. If you, any, if you have any problems, you can discuss in the group. Thank you and be safe.